successful at automatically determining. Data Studio 1.9 introduces a new curve fitting engine that is more successful at automatically determining complex fits. For example, this multiharmonic waveform can be fit automatically in Data Studio 1.9 by a sign series. The new curve fit engine is also better at fitting simpler curves in difficult circumstances. This second graph shows the voltage across a capacitor in a simple RC circuit. The capacitor is first charged, and then some seconds later is discharged. I'll zoom into the region showing the discharge of the capacitor. And let me refine that selection so it includes only those data points showing the discharge of the capacitor. And I'll go ahead and select a natural exponent fit for that section of data. And we can see that Data Studio is able to automatically determine a natural exponent fit, despite the fact that this data is shifted quite far in time from the origin. If I open the Curve Fit dialog by double-clicking on the Fit box, we can see the secret to the success of this automatic curve fit. This new option, Fit with First Selected Data Point at x equals 0, is automatically on by default for the natural exponent fit. When this option is selected, the fit algorithm internally time shifts the data, treating the first data point as time equals zero in its calculation of the curve fit and its reporting of the fit parameters. In this case, having this time shift selected is critical to the success of the curve fit. If I deselect this option and choose accept, we can see that the curve fit doesn't succeed without it. I'll turn this option back on to return to a successful curve fit. This option to fit with first selected data point at x equals zero is on by default for three of Data Studio's 16 curve fits, the quadratic, natural exponent, and inverse exponent fits. In the case of this natural exponent fit, it's on to enable the automatic fitting of typical exponential data. As we'll see in the next example with a quadratic fit, this option can also be used to give more physically meaningful fit parameters. In this third example, a volleyball was dropped from below a motion sensor and allowed to bounce on the floor, as shown in this graph of position versus time. Between each bounce, the ball was in freefall. I'll now select a region of freefall and try to fit it to a quadratic fit. We can see that Data Studio automatically is successful at making a quadratic fit to this section of the data. If I open the curve fit dialog, we can see that indeed fit with first selected data point at x equals zero is on for this quadratic fit. However, in the case of this fit, this option is not actually critical to the success of the fit. If I turn it off, you can see that the fit still works. However, with this option on, the fit parameters are more physically meaningful. Treating the first selected data point as time zero allows for an easy interpretation of the fit parameters. A is half the acceleration, B is the initial velocity, and C is the initial position. Let me point out a few other new features of this new curve fit engine. Standard deviations are now reported for all fit parameters and for all fits. By default, these standard deviations are also displayed in the fit note box, although you can choose to turn that off with this option. You can also use these checkboxes to determine which parameters show up in the graph. In this example, I'll turn off C, press accept, and we can see that C is no longer displayed in the fit note box. For those hopefully rare occasions that even the new Data Studio Curve Fit Engine can't automatically determine a fit for you, you can still enter initial guess values in these boxes for each parameter. One feature that the new Curve Fit Engine does not support is the locking of individual fit parameters. Another significant benefit of the new Curve Fit Engine, especially for advanced chemistry and physics experiments, is automatic user-defined curve fits. If you're trying to determine a complex relationship that isn't included among the 15 built-in curve fit types, and you can specify the predicted relationship algebraically, you can create a user-defined curve fit. In this example, the damped simple harmonic motion of a mass on a spring appears to be a combination of sinusoidal motion and exponential decay. I'll attempt to fit this data with a user-defined fit, which is a product of an exponential term and a sinusoidal term. So I'll turn on a user-defined curve fit and open up the fit dialog box where we can see that the default expression is simply x. I'll replace it with the expression I've copied to my clipboard which is a product of an exponential term and a sine term 
and I'll press accept to have Data Studio attempt to automatically fit this curve. And we can see that without any good initial guess values, Data Studio wasn't able to automatically determine the curve fit for our user defined fit. The next step would be to make a reasonable initial guess. I'm going to change the parameter of A to about 0.2, and I'll press accept again to let Data Studio attempt another automatic fit. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm going to fast forward and we'll see the result. And while it did take a while uh, for the computation, Data Studio was able to successfully determine a fit for our damped sinusoidal motion.